Hello and welcome to the 31 video that I'll be posting in my Unity platformer tutorial series. And in today's video, I will be discussing about game sounds, okay? And when it comes to game sounds or background music for your game, you will have to at some point create your own or use someone's assets. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing about that, but I will not be talking about game sound effects, but more to the background music that can be present in many games. And we are going to create our background music by using a application specifically made for making music and it's free and it's been the software that I'm using right now. And it is called LMMS. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to download LMMS. So I'm going to open my Google Chrome browser here. Type in LMMS official. You're gonna click on the sharing platform here. And on the top here, you can see or click the download and click on Windows. And I'm going to download for 64 bit. Gonna ask us where I'm gonna download. I'm gonna download here. LMMS. So now I'm going to be saving it in my folder here. And I'm gonna name this folder LMMS. Click on it and click on save. And it's gonna start downloading. So if you haven't downloaded LMMS 2, pause the video right now. Download it first, then come back once you finish downloading. And this might take a while, so I'm going to speed things up. Okay, so once the download is complete, you can click on it. Show in folder. And double click on it. gonna ask us to do the setup wizard and I'm just gonna click next I agree and next and then install and you gotta wait for the installing again so I'm gonna speed things up okay so once it's done I'm gonna click on finish here Where is my LMMS? Here you go. Show open television. It's in my Windows program. Let's just create a shortcut. Yes. Okay. And now I've created a shortcut to my desktop here. And we are going to double click on LMMS and a warning sign is going to pop up and you're just going to click on yes. And for those of you who haven't downloaded the LMMS, I want you guys to pause the video right now and try to download first. And once you're done, you can continue the video. And in here, you can just click OK. We don't want to change the language. We're just going to leave it to English and you don't need to uncheck any of these. So I'm just going to click OK and then click on OK again and we have our LMMS. Okay, I'm going to close this first. Now, you can see that we have a triple oscillator, sample track, beat baseline and automation track. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing only the basics and that is triple oscillator and beat baseline. Okay, so triple oscillator is basically if you click on the clip here, double click on it and it goes or open up somewhat like a piano. And in this piano, you can test things out like play the note. And to add the note, you can just left click. To delete notes, you can simply right click and you can also drag in your notes. You can drag it. To whichever piano note you want to play. 
And that is essentially the triple or skeleton, and then you can make more nodes. And to delete, you can just right click on your mouse, and it'll just delete for you. Okay, and yeah, so I'm gonna close this first, and I'm gonna teach you beat baseline. So if we click on the clip again by left clicking, and then double click on it, so we can open up the window here. So beat baseline is essentially like the beat where you put in notes like here, like this. And you can make patterns. And yeah, beat baseline is essentially something that you put so that it's playing continuously and you can create all sorts of things using this. And I'm actually going to be creating my music note right now. So this might take a while, so I'm going to speed things up and you'll see the end product. And before I, I, and before I created the montage, I want to tell you about resizing these notes here. You can actually resize this by by placing one of the notes and then drag on the arrow here and you can make it as long as you want so when you play on this you will play it like okay and now i'm going to speed things up And this is the final product. 
Not this. This is my final beat. I tried to loop it so I can just continuously duplicate this and I can just copy and then just paste this here and so forth so now there's gonna be like this beginning part and then we have this part okay and I might decide to change the instrument a little bit for this and there are actually pre-made instruments or pre or instrument presets created by LMMS and here are the LMMS instrument we've got Monstro and you can test these all out but I think I'm gonna try with this and I'm gonna try to copy paste this paste this I can just delete that for a second oh And of course you have your presets here, you can change the volume, you can make sure that the volume is high or low or how high you want the pitch to play and so forth. Actually the Freeboy preset isn't that bad. Okay, I just need to lower down the pitch here. And you can test things out and experiment with it. Okay, I just need to lower down the volume now. That's good enough. And now I'm gonna edit my beat baseline and I'm gonna get some of my instruments from LMMS. And this can be obtained by going to the instrument again and clicking on the samples here. And you can click on drums, beat, bass up, basses, and many more. But I'm gonna click on the drums and I'm going to create my, my beat. So I'm going to speed things up because this might take a while. And then we are going to try that. Copy and paste. Okay, and this is the final product of my beat baseline. So now if I click on play here.
and yeah be creative with your designs and that is going to be our tutorial and now i'm going to be teaching you how to export these songs into something that you'll create or use in your game and i'm going to name this tutorial lmms introduction okay and i'm going to save this and i'm actually going to be opening one of my old files that i'm going to be using for my game okay and i'm gonna go to my file i'm gonna click on save here and i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna open my old file and this is my song that i'm going to be using or exporting loud i'm just going to reduce that volume a little bit Anyway, this song, I'm going to go to file here and I'm going to export and then you can actually create into a WAV file or MP3. There you go. And yeah, so you can just do that. So I already created my... My MP3. And I'm going to be using that for the game. And now we are actually going to be opening Unity and putting the game sound to our file. So open Unity Tutorial Platformer or whatever Unity file you were creating. Okay, and then we are going to go to our main camera here. We are going to add a component and it's going to be called audio source. Audio source. And we are going to drag in the clip, which is going to be my song here. And you can just use any song you want. And I'm going to show in Explorer, drag in double click on the assets, paste in my song, paste, and then it's going to load in Unity. And then you can go to your main camera and just drag in the song or audio clip. And then we are going to make sure that it's on loop. And that is it. You can reduce the volume just to be sure that it won't be really loud for the player. And yeah. As you can see, the game music settings is reverted. And I'll be discussing that in the later part of the video, but then I want to focus on our frog invisible problem. As you can see, there's the frog, but then it's invisible. And we can just make sure that we do that by reducing our negative amount. And anyway, back to the sound here. We go to our upbeat and make sure it's play on wake. And the volume is lowered to something like 0.2. And it's gonna repeat every time we restart the game. I haven't created anything like for rigid body for our mushroom. And that is essentially it. You will add your own individual song for the game and just have fun with it when creating the songs and background music. So yeah, I think that covers up today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys understand more about Unity platformer making and 
background music making using LMMS and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next video and if you guys have any questions regarding the platformer making you guys can put it in the comments below and you can also put down in the comments below what other series do you want to learn or other series I should do and yeah thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video